Yeah, welcome to this uh, session where we will be demonstrating a ping pong style of web program. Uh, in order to do this, we will first write a function that will be adding numbers, and we will uh, write some unit tests for it. Uh, here we have a comment that we can get rid of. Right, Michelle? Yep, absolutely. Uh, so, let me see. Uh, we have this file called uh, at numbers.ci, just to make it clear. Uh, and our function will be adding two numbers, right? Yep. So we can say def add underscore uh, two underscore numbers. Yeah, I think we call it add numbers without a two. Without a two? Because yeah. the, uh, the, f the function has two arguments. I see. Cool. And should it get uh, two arguments, right? Yep. Yeah. Two arguments. Uh, a and B. Beautiful. And then we have a column. And we return uh, the sum of these two integers or floats, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, B. But uh, shouldn't we write the test first? Uh -huh. You would like to do that. You would like to follow the test. Yeah, so what about, so this is a good start of a function. What about now I write some tests that break and you um, you fix them one by one? Or I write one yeah. test that breaks. So you can check in your function you've just put in there. And I'm going to write a test that breaks the code and then you fix it. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. So could you add commit push that to the repo? I will do that. Uh, it adds at numbers of ci. Mm -hmm. uh, add function for add link numbers. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then I will push it to our main branch. Excellent. Now it's time for me to share the screen. So you have to stop sharing. Great. So you can see my screen now. I'll do get pool. So I have your code. Let's just Visual Studio code. And let's go to that thing. And there is some stuff here that is irrelevant. Tuk -tuk. File. Open file. Uh, there it is, program formalisms, learners, and we are called Jon Rich. Yeah, yeah so this is, this is a beautiful function. And you see I have white mode instead of um, dark mode. So Jon, what I don't like about your function, it doesn't have any documentation yet. So that's a, that's a test, and I'll show you that it breaks. So I can run this code here. It says uh, we're going to do whatever it wants and we're going to run this code I just ran the code and here you see that there's an assert failing it doesn't have any documentation do you agree that this test should pass John? I totally agree we should definitely do something to fix it excellent so now I add that oh wait, 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 wait. well I just took git add dot I add commit push it and you can uh, go ahead and fix it. Yeah. Um, add numbers must have documentation. Git push. I stop sharing. Oh, let's do that. Password I'll do without me sharing. Yeah. And you can pull soon, which is yeah, now. <laughs> then it will do this pull. Excellent! There it is! And there I have this test, uh, which I can verify on my end if you see failing. Bam! And here it is. It is failing, just like in Richel's computer. Um, so now the idea is that I need to write a documentation in order for this test to Mm -hmm. uh, so I will try to do that by using this triple quote 
and I will say function for adding two numbers. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. So if the test pass, I suggest to make a new test again. Let's see if this is passing. I think it's passing. Yeah. Works! Nice! So you get at commit push and I'll um, write a new test and see if I can break it again. Beautiful. Yeah, so you stop sharing. Yeah, nice. I start sharing. I do a git pool. Bam. So, yeah, that is your code. Beautiful. I can confirm it works. There, works beautifully. So, I want to I wanna add a test in which you add, like, if you add a string, evil string, and let's say another evil string, that it should give an exception, it should raise an exception, should, should, it should give an error because you can only add numbers and these are not numbers. So this, we don't use a testing framework so it has to be, there has to be some scaffolding. So the assert will be has raised exception, has ra uh, we'll just call it has raised, right? Mm -hmm. um, that should be true. At the start it should be false. And then this should raise an exception, and I um, and that will set it to true. I think it's called try one two three four, and then it's what's the raise? Hmm. You can you can use accept as well. Accept assert error, and then has raised should be true. Has raised equals true. So what it does is. If add numbers is called with strings, it should give an exception and set has raised to true, and in the end it tests this. So there's a bit of scaffolding it. If our function accepts this, no exception will be raised, and this will fail. Let's take a look if it fails, because it should fail, and there indeed it fails. So Jon, do you agree that this is a good test? I totally agree, and we should fix it. Excellent. I'll uh, check it in. Um, add test for add what's it called numbers. Yeah, I'm going to must check for input. There you go. Stop sharing. Good luck fixing it. by doing git pull. And here we have a new code that he added. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I will try to run it to make sure that still beautiful. Yeah, there it is. So we, we we will need to do some some changes in this function to make sure that that our input is uh, validated to make sure that we only accept uh, integers for float. Mm -hmm. So we can do this here, I believe. We can do a source that uh, the first argument, so a, the one here, um, should be an instance of integer. So we can accept it as a completion, I believe. Mm -hmm. And do we do, do we want it to also accept the float? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but I suggest that you just write it. I will write this new test that we can also see if it accepts float. I see. Okay. Yeah, so let's do, let's be half stupid or let's follow the standard ways. And yeah, assume that they both be integers. All right. Uh, and then we do the same for the second argument, for the B argument. Yep. And now we can take a look and, and, and see if um, an exception an exception is cast. So let's see and the test pass. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> yeah. 
Beautiful. Ja, yeah. add commit push and I'll take over. Let's see if I can break your code. Excellent. Time for me. Uh, no idea what this is. There. There we are. I need to do git pool first. Well, I can do this here too. That's nice. There. So this is in. This works. So I assume that assert. Oh, with one S. Add numbers of 1.2 and 2.3. I just take two random numbers. Should be 3.5. This is a bit of a floating point thing. So I'm not sure if this test will actually work nicely. You should say something like it's bigger. Let's do let's do let's do something like this. It's a bit vaguer but due to routing off errors I feel it's okay. What do you think here uh, Jon? Would you accept this yeah. test being valid? The reason I feel it's mostly valid is because it will fail. Bam. It says, hey, this must be integers, but we see that these are two numbers. Exactly. It, it, it serves the purpose of testing uh, the input. So it is yeah. Nice. So you accept the test that this should be more or less true? That this should be true? I like it. Excellent. Yeah. And I'll check it in. I can do this here. Git commit. Um, expose that at numbers does not yet accept floats something like that push and uh, you go ahead and fix it all right let's see what we can do um, get changes again run it good yeah Amazing. so uh, what we shall did is trying out the function adding numbers with floats and this is not something that we are uh, considering here in this function so um, I think if we try to modify this and instead of having a uh, normal variable here we pass a tuple with two different types mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong we we that is correct do this uh, And float, and then we probably also want to update this uh, integer or float. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm, beautiful. And then we can run tests again. And it needs to be working. Hmm. So I wonder if I can now break it still. But let's um, you add commit push. I try to break it, and if not, we're done. Good. Mm -hmm, get pool. All right. So if I cannot break your code anymore, we're done. So let's just do one and two. This should exactly be three. Let's run it. Works. Um, minus one. Minus. I just do some minus numbers. I predict I I can't break your code anymore. So I think we're done. Um, yeah, so we should actually delete this test because it doesn't add anything. We could keep it just to, well, it, it's actually a useful application of the function. So should we keep it? Should we delete it? What do you think, Jon? I think it's all right. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's add it then. Uh, but it does mean we're done. So I'm just gonna add commit push it and we're done. Uh, done. Uh, how do you call it? Done with add numbers. Add numbers is is done. It's complete. Maybe that's better. It's complete. Push. So this was a web programming session doing a technique which is called ping pong. Mm -hmm. 
and I was uh, in the beginning doing the function and Richelle did the first thing by making the test fail and then I first and then I did a pong which made the test pass and so and so on. So we re repeated this this technique over I think three iterations, right? Yeah, yeah something like that. Three or four. Yep. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? That's it. Hey thanks Jon. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy your day. <laughs>